In this video, let's explore the third and final server rendering strategy, which is streaming. Streaming is a strategy that allows for progressive UI rendering from the server. Work is divided into chunks and streamed to the client as soon as it's ready. This enables users to see parts of the page immediately before the entire content has finished rendering. Streaming significantly improves both the initial page loading performance and the rendering of UI elements that rely on slower data fetches, which would otherwise block the rendering of the entire route. This concept may seem familiar as we covered it in an earlier video titled Suspense for SSR when discussing React's rendering techniques. The difference now is that we are focusing on Next.js, where streaming is integrated into the Next.js app router by default. Let's dive into the code and learn how to manually create suspense boundaries in our application and rely on streaming for better performance. To save time, I have prepared the code beforehand. I've created a new route called product detail, which renders three elements. An h1 tag that reads product detail page, a product component, and a reviews component. I've defined these two components in a folder named components within the source folder. Here is a spoiler alert. With the app router, we can use async await with React components. We will dive into this in a different section, but for now, understand that I am intentionally delaying the rendering of the product component by two seconds and the reviews component by four seconds. Imagine this simulates the time taken to fetch data and render the component. With this setup, let's start the dev server. In the browser, navigating to slash product detail shows that the page takes a while to render the h1 tag along with the two components JSX, product and reviews. If I refresh again, in the network tab, you will notice that the time waiting for server response is slightly over four seconds, indicating that the data for the entire page is fetched before sending the response. Now let's enhance this with the streaming strategy supported in the app router. All we need to do is import the suspense component and wrap the slow components with suspense and XJS handles the rest. So in product detail page.tsx, import suspense from React and wrap both product and reviews component. Let's also add fallback text, which is a paragraph element loading product details and similarly loading reviews. If we return to the browser and reload the page, we immediately see the page heading followed by the product detail component and then the reviews component. The time waiting for server response has significantly decreased to just 91.25 milliseconds. Let me reload the page so you can closely observe the UI. Refresh, page heading, two seconds in for the product component and four seconds in for the reviews component. This showcases the ability to progressively render HTML from the server to the client. This is what streaming is all about. All right, this concludes our discussion on server rendering strategies in Next.js. We have one more very important topic to cover in this section on rendering. So let's tackle that in the next few videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.